Sorry. Do you want a clock? What? Do you want a clock? Do I want a clock? You always ask time. Do you want a zero? Or no, here's me. Yeah, here's yeah. Okay. It doesn't hurt me. Okay. An alarm clock. No, not alarm. Just, just to see your time. Good morning, Jim. <clears throat> I didn't talk about it here. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. You're talking to yourself this morning. No, no, he's even talking better than us. He's only talking to you. You're a much better student than us. Who's <laughs> talking to you? I'm a good student. I'm not talking to you, but he's talking to me. <laughs> It says, it said you learned earlier about the Rav and Palma, that the Rav talks to himself and the Palma listens in. Right? Like when she did, we stared at her. Uh, um, It'll be so, a sleep. So you imagine going to the minion is, is uh, Gashmi in, in your life. No? What can you see what we're doing now? Generally speaking, we don't have questions until the last time. That's, um, he asked before. He finished. <laughs> there are two things. You sell going to the minion and the machine in the minion. What? Yourself being the minion mm -hmm. and to make the minion happy. Yes. It's two different things. Okay. Yourself being a minion, don't be a minion is a ruchness. The national minion is, is an obligation okay. beyond, right. beyond yourself. I, I will monitor. Huh? I, I, I will try to monitor if I have to do it. Okay, thank you. Ah. Okay, shall we? Not yet. So we're holding by the Quote Mokum Hara Hedrickson and Oko Punim. Yep. Gosh, you are surrounded by phones. I also remember the breathing muscle in those thousand. Ah, yes. In the air is Yeah. Okay, we'll start. Uh, we have to start from my logical starting point. Two lines from the top on Kuf Nun Hey. In the middle of that line, it, it says like this Shame Shuhu be dear Behira. The similar union that we have discussed in the principle of the idea of the divine knowledge of the world and everything in the world, while at the same time, all the creatures in the world have their, their Bechira. They function as if they are functioning entirely on their own. Totally a free choice. And we explained how is this possible? Everything that they do is, so to speak, preordained by their creator. It's every second of their being is known to the creator way before it occurs. How is it that they have Bechira? So we explain the phenomenal union to what extent we can possibly understand it. It depends. On the, on, the, on the refinement of our own thinking, 
that his knowledge is at the at the level that that is beyond beyond being sensed by the creature. Although it's not that he, his knowledge doesn't have any effect. He's he knows it to himself and it's not to do with the creature. No, that knowledge is what makes the creature be. And yet he has the creature does not sense that what he knows and what he how he acts is is due to the fact that he's being influenced by the by the creator. This is the infant Bechira. And then at the, in the middle of that line, the Rebbe says, Kshem Bechira. Same principle that we discussed regarding the, the, these, this controversy, this reality of idea of Bechira. Kmoi Kain, likewise, similarly, there's even a deeper in you. Who it is beha beetle in the beetle element. So we've discussed beetle a bit, but now we have to focus in and recognize what does this beetle represent. Let's go in and slightly into this and we'll be able to. To bring it out, the habitual shall call Hanivroim betelim that all the creations, the creatures, betelim are bottle and now, which means they do not have an independent presence. Mitzad bechinas because of and from the influence, mitzad from the influence of the bechina of the aspect of tzir koimadiyak. Tir koimediak means that which is perceived in Adam Kadman. Adam Kadman is called Tir Koima. The reason it's called Tir Koima is that the Adam Kadman includes in its recognition the entire existence. And it's called Tir Koima, a Tir, a, a, an upstanding presence because it, it includes the entire existence, existence from the top. All the way down to the bottom, <coughs> and, all, and all the other in, in the middle. All that is known and enabled by by Odom Kadmon. Sometimes I'm, I hesitate to make certain points because Hashem should not be taken out of context. Odom Kadmin, the word Odom means Odom is Odom, Odom human being. Why is it called Odom? Why isn't it called a Bhema? Why isn't it called a tree? Because Odom has a unique quality. He is a presence like all other presences. He eats and drinks and sleeps and, 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 and so forth. But there's something unique about Odom. The uniqueness about Odom is that he is not only functioning within an environment. He is fully aware of his entire spectrum of his function. function. We discuss this many times, and it behooves us to reflect on it. The reason we discuss it is because we all have a divine blessing of intellect, and we have to use our intellect and understanding and able to bless us. Mentioned many times, you wake up in the morning and you open your eyes and you see the deep horizon, and you say, "Hey, this is my eyes are seeing." You don't realize this is not your eyes are seeing. To see this, you have to have very broad intelligence to recognize what you, that you're looking way out.
A point blank question. Do you think the dog also sees the same thing that you see? Goes also looks into the horizon? The dog sees all the things in the middle that are edible. And that's what he sees. This Indian that we have this capacity, not capacity, we have this initial um, focus of seeing the reality as it is, is a beetle aspect. <coughs> it has nothing, it has no benefit to us directly. We see miles ahead because not because we're planning a, a route a route around this mileage you don't plan to go there if you don't plan to go there so how do what is the meaning of this site this siding is what places what gives us a sense of the reality in which we function as we mentioned many times and I'll mention it again because we tend to forget this final aspect of human life. A person, Rahman Khan, is in prison. There's a phenomenal Indian in the prison, nature of the prison. The prisons normally, I'm talking about heavy prisons. So they're behind stone walls, but someplace on the top of the wall, there is an opening, a small opening. And they have to climb up eight feet, or whatever it is, to be able to have a peek through that opening. They live within this, within this enclosure. Their food is being delivered to them, and they, everything that they possibly can get is delivered to them. Yet they climb up, make all this effort to take a peek to that open. What is it that entices them to climb up to take a peek to that open? It's only a peek because there's nothing to stand on there. They have to hold on with a lot of effort. And yet they do that all effort. <clears throat> the mindset, the, 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 the inspiration to do that is that this peak <clears throat> gives them a sense of the of, of reality of their own life. Yes, I'm blocked in, in, in blocked in this world, but that's not who I am. Through these walls I see the entire reality of the world. What does this reality of the world mean to him? He's behind these walls anyway. <clears throat> the answer is, <clears throat> excuse me, he's behind the walls, but what does he really relate to? And what is the definition of his presence is this bigger reality. This is what he's bottled to. This is what he's united to. This is what makes him able to, to function at any level. This is not new, we discuss it many times in all kinds of different variations. A human being makes a single step, every step to him is, in, is related to the infinity. We started, I just want to we'll go back to where we started. What is the sense that, that, that we have of God? 
We've never seen God. And yet, we speak freely about, about Mabison to the point that we, that we babble and say, and, and thanks, and all, all the things that we, that we do in our ways Hashem. What is it that we, that, that relates us to that so that we can actually function in that, in that, in that perspective? And the explanation of this, of course, is we perceive, I'm sorry, I'm going back, just as in the muscle of climbing up and looking, looking into the horizon, even when one is at behind walls, he still, he lives in, in the big horizon. At a deeper and level, and, 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 and <clears throat> a more significant level, We live in the divine reality, not in the world infinity. We function, we think, we live, we experience our own reality <coughs> as coming from a divine source. I have to put it a little bit in, in a context. A divine source means many things. For one thing, for one thing that we can readily identify. We are not here by accident. We didn't fall down from Mars over here. We're here because we belong here. Belong here mean because this is made for us. Like I mentioned the Posik, Omaiki or CC Oret, the Odom Allah Barasi. The Odom, everybody knows the touch of these words. The Odom on earth is not an accident. This is a divine plan. I made earth and on it I made human beings. What does this Posik tell us? Of course, everything was created by, by Mavish. The earth and the human being. What, what, is, what is the point of it? The point of it in this Posik is that I created a human being and I gave him the earth to be his domain. The reason the human being feels comfortable on earth and if you look up into the deep horizon is because he is here and I can't, um, because I put him here. He feels that whatever he looks at, it's, it's in his domain, it's his right to look at. I mentioned before the mentality of the prisoner. The prisoner is behind tall, steel wood, stone walls. And there's a little opening over on top, 10 feet up. He's still behind these walls. What's the point of climbing up and taking a peek? And the explanation is, the human being perceives his own being, his own presence, not as a presence in the world, not after the fact that I'm here, that's how he knows I'm here. He knows that he is here because he was told by the creator you're here. There is a there's a piety of the Evan Ezra. I always call it. It's in this in the Sidurim, the Persian Durim, but there is this. 
Ebenezer was a, was a, a poet, <laughs> quote unquote, okay. He wrote many, 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 uh, many young, uh, uh, holy things. So he says, Ke bro'ani, the one God created me, the Omar Chayoni, and he said that I'm alive. What does it mean? He created me, so he created me. He didn't just create me and let me go fly in, 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 in nothing. He created me and he said, you know who you are? You're my creature and you're alive. And you have to use this life. This life is meant for you to utilize and go and, and investigate this entire, this entire creation. This is a human being. The reason that we are enticed, we're curious what's going on there, what's going on there, because this is our mission, divine mission. This Indian that we sense our mission in the world is do is an is a principle of Beetle. If we were to focus on our own issues, our own experience, this mission is, is very difficult to achieve. I mean, what is everyone needed for? I, I, I live right here. It is due to the fact that we have an inherent beetle, an inherent sense. Beetle means that who are we really? Not what we are, but what the Creator meant us to be. Mm. Despite the fact that we have all kinds of needs and we have to pursue them, so forth, but in essence, essentially, even when we pursue that which we need, is also due to this bit. Because we have to be. A, a real participant in the divine creation. I mentioned many times there is a phenomenon called boredom. A person is bored. What's boredom means? Why is he bored? He doesn't have to eat, he can eat and sleep. Boredom is that he is dissociated from the infinite divine presence. That makes it impossible for him to live. Because he belongs all, all, everywhere. How can I stick over here? This is the principle, what's called Bito. Bito means, even though I, I, every human being is, a, is what he is, but he is not just an individual human being. He is part of the bigger reality, the divine reality of the creation of the world. He actually belongs to the entire world. How so? Not because he is curious, because he needs to be bigger than himself. No, because that's how the God created him. Because this is the divine definition of his presence. And this is why, when he has nothing to do in the world, he's very unhappy. He's not really fulfilling the definition of his presence. This is an inherent sense of beetle, a sense of unity between the human being and the entire reality, entire divine reality. He has this sense. When you ask a person, why are you going there? He's not gonna say, because I have a divine mission to go there. I'm curious. 
he doesn't realize that this curiosity is really uh, underlying that is a divine mission. But he's totally unaware of it. To him, this is human curiosity. He wants to be bigger than himself. This is what the Rebbe said. There's an inherent sense of beetle. Beetle means that he is one with the entire divine reality. Because everything in the existence of the world, particularly of course a human being, particularly the Jewish person, is contained and identified in, in the knowledge of Tzir Koyma Diyak. Odom Kadman, this is where everything originates. All variations of variety that exist in the entire universe didn't come up as time went on, but it was created, created on the fly. <clears throat> it was perceived by the creator. All the way, all the, all the possibilities. This is called Tzir Kodmo de Odom Kadman. That's what's called Odom. Because Odom means that he's aware of everything. Maybe she created, provided an infinite, an infinite horizon. That infinite horizon represents everything that's possible in there. Odom, not all, all the things that are contained in there. All the possibilities. It's called Tzir Kodmo de The reason that Odom, that the Odom knows everything at the end, okay, this is a step deeper. The reason that he knows everything at the end, because he is one with the creator. He's bottled to the creator, he's not become a separate entity. Therefore, everything that the creator provided, this is what he is. He does not focus and try to identify his own presence on the basis of what he needs for himself or what he experiences. He, relate, he identifies his presence by how God looks at him. This is the Tzir Koyma Diyak. Which means Tzir Koyma, by definition, <coughs> represents the beetle that the whole creation has to its creator. He sees himself as the creator sees him. This is the beetle. Yes, he can become a whole, a whole presence. That whole presence is a, is a presence because of its relationship, because it, 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 it relates and it's dedicated to service of the members. Recognizing the truth of the, the godly truth. Therefore, Everything that then follows in the whole creation is sourced in this divine knowledge. Not in the divine knowledge. In, 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 in Odom Kadman, in, 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 at the created level that he knows what the creation is. This is where everything is sourced. And yet it's not, there's no more wish of this, there's not everything oh. of this. <laughs> so if, if that if, since this is the truth then everything that exists should sense throughout its whole be being what his reality is he should sense that he is a divine definition, divine will <laughs> it's an interesting thing. We are saying here that he does not sense it. In the mortgage when he run. that mortgage when he run, he functions as a Negro. But then when you ask him, you talk about a human being. Mm -hmm. 
Why are you here? What makes you tick? What makes you get up in the morning? Oh, I get up in the morning because I create a cup of coffee. <clears throat> that is the lie of the century. <laughs> it gets up in the morning because the, the, because the morning the, begs him, calls him. I need to identify my reality. I belong there. That sounds like Hergish. Rosemary? That sounds like Hergish. That's right. It sounds like Hergish. He knows it. But then when he comes down into his own functioning level, he's totally unaware of it. This is the, this is the, so to, so to speak, the, the, this is the kind of contradictory um, um, conflagration of, of two different things in, in the creation in general and human being particular. Which two things? He definitely knows of the of the bigger of the truth of, of where he comes from. And yet when he comes in his own function, he forgets about it completely. When he goes out to work, looks for a job, who does he look to? The boss. To his employer. So he actually knows more when he wakes up and says Modayani than he does later in the day. Good morning. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Modayani is a, is, a, is a correct definition of human awareness. Not what is more than you say, let's finish the whole thing. Shahazar to be Nishmosi, the Nishoma has just now been returned to me by the Creator Himself. I didn't wake up on my own because I'm not, not tired anymore. Now I wake up. The Creator of the world woke me up. Says, hey, time to get up. He forgets Modayani later. What? He forgets Modayani later. He, that's right. He becomes, he's aware of the Modayani when he, at the moment when he wakes up. Then he says, oh yeah, look at this. Now I woke up. Where does it come from? I didn't dream about it. It was, it was returned to me and in this waking state. And then afterwards, he forgets about it because he gets involved in his own interests and his competition. Who's going to be first aligned? <laughs> who's, going to, who's, going to, who's going to get that, that uh, 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 thing? Uh, whatever it is, it's competition in life. Competition is his needs and so forth. <laughs> Um, so then he, he completely loses sight, the sense of what this is all about, why, why he's interested in it. Yes, sir. We started the sheet um, explaining why Autumn, Autumn Cardinal, why Autumn not was, and it went along that, that, um, that the Autumn senses that there's a bigger reality, not just his, what, his immediate function. Because I'm trying to understand, and, and was said that this is the godly mission, what he, yeah. this is his godly, that's how he was, he was created to relate to the entire reality, to affect the entire reality. Can this be explained more? What does it mean that he is created to affect the entire reality? Well, I pointed out, the prisoner behind tall walls climbs up 10 feet just to take a peek through an opening. What, what, what drew him to that peak? What does he want to see? The reason he, he wants to see it is that to be just limited to these four walls is an impossibility for him. It's the biggest torture. 
because because It conflicts with his real being. And what is his real being? This is what I'm his about. real being is the sense of the of the divine reality. Meaning to say that he has to affect. And I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to get it. He has to affect the entire reality. He has to know about the entire reality. What is God's? Okay. Okay, we are very. You have a home. What's the difference between your home and you here? What's the difference? If you see this door, this opening is not. It doesn't work properly. Does it bother you? In your home, would it bother you? Also. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is identified. This identifies who you are with your own being. In your home, it will bother you. So, so God wants that the, that the person said should feel that the whole world is his something. Yeah, you know, this is, this is he was put in the world. God yeah. Barosi was put in the world to guard and to bring hum, human value to the world. To the whole world. To the whole world. To the whole world. Absolutely, not at once, but to the whole world. Wherever he comes, we were. I was born in in, in Russia. And I'm in America, so I say, oh, nothing to be, this nothing has nothing to do with me because I was born in Russia. Okay. This explains what Bernie Sanders is winning the Democrat uh, primary. <laughs> and so, so, so the Udom Kadman, so that's why he was conceived, um, Udom Kadman. This answers the, the question which was asked in the beginning why Udom? Udom means. <clears throat> Of all the creatures, the creatures in the world, Odom is the only one who is aware of what's going on. The dog also looks into our eyes, but it doesn't mean to the, to the dog what the next to have to the human being. It does. Yeah. It does seem that after he sees the blue sky, a moderny moment, that either he puts himself back into prison or just to function, he needs to remove his gaze from the bigger picture. Ah, oh. okay. Here's the answer to your question. What was his question? His question is like this. Since when you woke up, you were aware, you were aware of the divine presence. What happened the moment later? There was a Danish on the table. Danish <laughs> <laughs> back The the remainder of the Moide Ani reflective in the entire day. Is that whatever I encounter in the in my life in the, in the day makes sense? I'm not I'm not thrown out off. How come there is this? One? I I don't know exactly, but everything belongs to me. It's more than me. It justifies whatever I'll meet in my life. Uh -huh. uh, but it does remain. It doesn't mean I'm saying I'm a market the king, and that's yeah. it. Remains. In, this is the remain of the Moidiani. And he's not he's not imprisoned by his daily activities. That's why he's not imprisoned, he's not shocked. But yeah. whatever he needs help. Oh, this is this is the world. 
So, so when the Udom Kadman, how does it work? Hashem taught about Udom, and this is in a, in a, in a Kadman way, meaning he meditated uh, about creating the Udom. What does it mean, Udom Kadman? Udom Kadman, yeah, it means that the Rebbe said, pre identified the human being before he created him. Well, Udom Kadman, Udom Kadman is even on the, on the beginning of the, of the creation. And on the Kadma level, he identified the Adam. Everything. Yes. Uh, Adam, and what's about the Tzir Koyma? Tzir Koyma means that which is contained in the entire creation. In the Adam? It goes Adam Kadma, please listen. The creation is an Adam. There's nothing haphazard, not accidental in the creation. Everything in creation is, is pre-planned by the Mavish. This preplanned is defining this creation as Odo, just like in Odo. That's a function haphazardly, he died, he pre preconceived what he's going to do. This preconception exists in the entire creation. The Bria means Odo, let's say, on that level? What? The Bria means the other Odo Kadman, the whole Bria? Yeah. The but whole Bria is conceived in Odom Kadman. In Odom Kadman is conceived all Bria? Yeah. Odom Kadman is that. Odom Kadman is that level where, you, where the neighborship perceives the entire creation. What's so difficult? It has, it has the qualities of, of Adam. It has the, the same quality of Adam. <clears throat> you woke up this morning and you say, Oh, I'm going to go to Palkia's home. You thought that, right? Right. What did this thought, thought how does this thought reflect in your, the next hour activity? What you are here, this that you are here, has anything to do with this original thought when you woke up? For sure. Okay. That was your Odom Kadma for this, for this activity here. If you did not pre-think it, then what, what do I do, what am I doing here? So uh, where, where were we? Where were we inside? In the first oh, inside. I don't know if there is an inside anymore. Yeah. <laughs> the beetle. Um, is there a rock in the mortgage? Yeah. I mean, that, that's okay. Yes. Yes. And yes. The, earlier in the shear, it was mentioned that this that everything is is foreseen inside Adam Kadman does not take away the Bechira. And the reason it doesn't take away is because from our level, you don't sense it. It's like moved out the era. Right. But still, it's seemingly predestined that I was going to make a coffee, I was going to have no sugar. There's no Bechira. How's there, how does that put Bechira back into the picture? I was not aware, but it was all predestined. So with, what happened with, that's called Bechira? <clears throat> okay, listen, the answer to this question is this. The Bechira, let's look inside. Right, the, the last words of the first line. Bechira is in the human perception, not in the divine perception. In the human perception, is 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 full bechira. Right. Uh, the difficulty over here is, which we must focus on. This is a real challenge. 
So is he saying this is in the human perception, but not in the Bible? Is it is a human being fooling himself? Is he being fooled, or is it real? Okay, this is the sensitive thing over here. It is a true Bechir. He's not being fooled. How so? After all, you say this, you have preconceived before. The answer is that this preconception is at a perch, at a level that is that is in a different world, so to speak, in the human of the human recognition. We had Mishalim for this. But again, every marshal, we have to bring, the reason, the reason we can learn this thing is because we are blessed with the divine, divine gift of intelligence, not because the words are gonna tell you the whole thing. Don't, don't hope for the words to tell you the whole story. But because we have divine intelligence, then these words can arouse us, our thinking, that, and, and, and I go deeper into our own Nisham. He's saying that there is full-fledged, true Bechir. At the same time, he was completely preconceived by the Creator. So the Moshe of and in, in, in term in words, it means because the Creator's knowledge is at a higher level. The Bechir's Havdolo. We explained this, we spoke about Havdolo means like this. This is important that we should reflect on the following. The reason to us, this seems to be a contradiction. How can you say that he knows and yet it's, he has a here? The reason it's a contradiction to us is that we understand knowledge. What is knowledge to us? Knowledge to us means coming in contact with that which you know and examining it. How do you know that you're in this house? I'm experiencing it. I found the address and I came here and I'm and, and in contact with it. Which is what knowledge means to us. But on the divine level, knowledge is not dependent on coming to be, to experience the thing that we know. He knows things from a divine perspective. We try to identify, we find that this, to be like Mil Khan, and the divine, what is the difference between the worldly and the divine? Worldly exists after the fact. Divine is how it thinks are meant to be, I'll tell you how, what the truth is, how it should be. We live here in Brooklyn. This Brooklyn area, 100 years ago was a wilderness, a jungle, 200 years ago. <clears throat> Was the jungle. We don't see the jungle aspect at all. Now follow this. We don't see the jungle aspect. How come? Because we cleared it off, we cut off all the trees, and we, and we, and we, and we built houses. It's, in, it's no longer a jungle. The fact that it is no longer a jungle, does the, that, that eliminate the whole Indian that this was a jungle before? You know, was the possibility of a jungle of this being? Of course it's possible. Because 
the, 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 the broader reality of this is never eliminated. You can make it livable in a certain in a certain level, but you do not change it. It's it's a preconception. It's original being. The original being. If this was created by Shishis and Mebreshis, the way it was created by Shishis and Mebreshis, this is how it is. We draw from that Shishis and Mebreshis creation that which serves us. But you don't change it the way it was for Jason Mabelations. Did you say that the Galantra show was part of that original jungle? It's, 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 it's this, these glasses are made of metal. Nobody will think of these glasses as metal. I look at these glasses, eyeglasses. You're not going to say, you know what I'm looking at? I'm looking at a piece of metal formed of glasses. But the fact that this is formed of metal, formed in the, it remains forever. Now the bell rang. Ta da di da 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 di da 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 di da 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 Okay, just one. Final word. The fact that the world is a divine creation remains with the world forever and ever and ever. You cannot develop the world in any which way. You not overdevelop it beyond to the to the point where the, the divine effect is is completely eliminated. This divine effect is that which was which preconceived, the pre pre identified, and allowed for everything that uh, that followed in the development of the world. The reason the world pre 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 presents such versatile, infinite variety, infinite possibilities is because the, God, the divine presence in the world uh, uh, contains all that, allows for all that. And that's why everything that we invent becomes a reality overnight. Because this invention did not get born at the time of invention. This invention was inherent in the in the in the world. And therefore, when we find it, oh yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it wasn't uh, okay. yeah, sorry. <laughs> it, it's not the web that needs to leave. Yeah. I'm be, I'm being go ahead. Yeah. Is this last two examples that were given that sounds a little contradictory to me. Yeah, okay. People. So the, the one that you have said that, that there is a six days of creation provided like a framework for everything, a basic framework, and the Brooklyn is still a jungle. I mean, I'll be like, you know, a miner from the industry that you have, it will be a jungle. And, and uh, whatever it is now, it's kind of temporary. In other words, the fact that, that it was humanized and was developed, it's kind of like temporary. Really, in, in reality, it's still a jungle. And then second example we gave about the glasses, you say if he makes the glasses, it's a piece of metal, glass, whatever it is, right? You never will say that it's a glass or metal, it's a glasses. It's a, it's a new reality, which was brought down by the human intelligence, right? So you don't say it's a jungle, it's a piece of metal. It's piece of, it's how like two, these two examples say that don't drive well. Okay, so the answer is, there is the way it is perceived inside the Amazon, inside the Lacus, or inside the human being. Human beings, it, it, it relates to it at his level exclusively. Is that it is glasses or it's metal? Glasses. It's glasses now. Yeah. And this is not a jungle. 
Exactly, but, in, but isn't it also a, a, a locus that the human being was given a mandate to humanize the world? Isn't mm -hmm. it what they say all the time? Yeah. It's a part of a godly reality too. That's right. So the Brooklyn, Brooklyn is not a jungle. On the, on the human level, it is not a jungle. He did not eliminate the possibility of it being a uh, jungle. Of course not, because jungle provided a possibility for him making okay, a so, so what's your question? No, no, it's a, but, but since now it is Brooklyn, it is by God's mandate is Brooklyn. It, it's actually- By God permission. Permission. But it's it more than permission. It, he but said it's still it's a, a jungle rendered into a- you know, Right, but, but it's more than permission. He said he sent him on shlichus. He gave him that- uh, A human shlichus. Human shlichus, yes. Okay. But yeah. it's also, it's a godly shlichus. I mean, it's a God's creation to, to make a human being into the developer no. of the world. The God's permission is that the human being should humanize, not that the God took away the, the jungle no, aspect. No, 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 of okay. course, of course. No, but, no. but so when a human being does his job as a human being and humanizes Brooklyn out of the jungle and makes a Brooklyn out of it, it is a godly creation. It is a pinnacle of creation. It is by godly mission, by godly command. Exactly, command, not permission. If this, here come here. If this cup were made by God, it could never become with no cup. Right. Right. Well, that's what we say. Third base of English will be made by God. So, okay. Yes. Right. Of course. I understand what you're saying. I get it. I get it. Right. So, therefore, there are certain things in the world, like what Moshe Rabbeinu touched with his hands, that remain forever. That's right. Right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to attempt to I, I didn't get the, the Udom Katman. What? I still didn't get the, what? the Udom Katman, and, which was explained to me before and in general. Um, Udom Katman and Sir Kwaima, the Ak. I, I, I have to get some something in Gashmis, then I can destroy the Gashmis, but I, can, I, have, I need the starting point <laughs> where to start from. Ah, you are not Gashmi. But I still need to start from No, you don't start from Gashmi. I start from Gashmi, the go easy. No, no, you, you, I'm not going to say. That's, that's what you're saying. When you wake up in the morning, you say what? Where is my table? Or where, or where is the Rebishter? What is the first thing that you say? Always explain that we start with the world from the world we see all the course, but we don't. No, 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 forget about this. But listen to what we're saying, you see, because we say a word and we take it in the wrong direction and become, and that completely cancels out everything else. Because it's an easy, easy structure. We can put it into a box. This is, this is what the scientific thought process has done to us. We lose sight of the, of the mission of the truth. We think everything is structured the way the real mind structures it. No matter how structured your life is, you remain a human being the way you were when automation was created. We learn Chochmah, and Chochmah is a more common man. No. Wrong. You want to write wrong. I said, when you look out, that's Chochmah. Is there a limit how much you see? Can you surmise how far you see? Can you see it only because you see it, there's a mocking as man? You see it in this man, but. No, I don't see this man, not in mocking as this man. When you look out, when you have this glance, in one instant you see the entire thing, and you know how much is how much you cover with your sight. I know that it, but you wrote to me. I see that we where you where you went wrong. Not true. I'm helping you. Not true. The world still remains a divine creation. 
and it's true only because the emission is there. Okay, so I'm trying to understand. I'm not trying to stick to what, okay, I, what ahead, I wrote, but, but what is uh, what was explained when was said? What? Udam Kadman, that that the creation um, that God that 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 God conceived Udam Kadman. Is this how, how to express it? God conceived Udam Kadman. God conceptualized Udam Kadman. God conceptualized the entire creation. That conceptualization is called Odom Karma. This conceptualization was a divine conceptualization, not a worldly conceptualization. Only God can conceptualize the entire creation. But it sounds that something happened to this Udam Kadman. Does it become a certain level? A certain, what, what, what's happening now with this Udam Kadman? What's wrong with what we said? Because, because when, when we talk... It, it's, well, yeah, but what's wrong with what we said just now? What we talk because we take things out of context. We want to put things in the box, in the world box. And this is where the problem is. What's wrong with what we're saying right now? So we said now that Udam Kadma means that Hashem conceptualized the entire creation. Exactly. What's the Koima? This is this entire koima, this entire creation is see koima. Because the entire creation is limitless. So and we call the whole creation we call Adam. And why do we call the whole creation Adam? Because Adam is the one. Who, um, because uh, because the aware. creation because the creation has order to it. That's what we call the order. No, no, no! Forget about that. No, you have to bring. Uh, unfortunately, I know I know where you're coming from. But we have a little, a little, expo a little exposure to scientific thought. I don't know. It poisons us. I don't know. I don't yes, know. you do. Don't tell me you don't. I didn't grow up Hasidus, but I didn't grow up. No, no, no. Hasidus doesn't say that. I know, but I, I never learned in college or whatever. I learned in college. It, it, it's, it's in the air. You, you encountered it in uh, my class. <laughs> I'm sorry to do that. <laughs> uh, anyway, forget it. forget it. I'm not comfortable with this. I'm just, I, I'm, okay. What, 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 okay. I'm saying, what's missing with what we said? Olam Karman is the divine conceptualization of the entire creation. But of course, when, what's missing is because we, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not hearing this the first time. Was, and when, when we discuss things, it always comes up, well, when I'm listening to the sheet, that, that the Udam Kadman itself is something of a, he's doing something, he has a function. This is what I hear from the sheet. Not now, but yesterday, not the day before, not the day before. Udam Kadman is a conceptualization of the entire creation. This conceptualization of time creation allows for identifying various aspects in the creation. Okay, this is where this is where I'm I am all. This is where I'm, no, I'm no, struggling no. with. That all everything that you can identify within creation is all conceptualized in the original conceptualization. Okay, the most of what this is. Yeah. You conceptualize a house. In the house, there are five different rooms. Which one did you, what did you conceptualize, the rooms or the house? The house. But how the rooms come there? That's after. What? That's after. That's after, no. Not true. The concept of a house includes okay, rooms. 
The same thing, the consideration of the entire creation includes everything that's in the creation. But that's what a creation is. A world means that there is everything there, including trees and the and human beings. So the boy conceptualized the Udam Kadman. Well, the boy conceptualized yeah. the Udam Kadman. Yeah. Okay. And to identify things in the world comes from, direct from the boy, but that comes right from the Udam Kadman. It comes through Udam Kadman, but, but it was it was conceptualized. The, the boy is what is what he what put it into Udam Kadman. The okay. civilization of the Kadma came from the Boyer. Okay, but, but afterwards it comes, it comes like the Boyer that comes out from the Udam Kadma. It comes from the Boyer, I don't know what you're dragging. The Boyer conceptualized the Udam Kadma. How come Udam Kadma is so big? Because the Boyer is big. Udam Kadma is not an entity unto himself. What would come here not create something that was not initially conceptualized by the human, by the creator? The best luck. Well, slowly. I think what he's talking is the, the, the morale, the chokhm is the tool, or, or even the chokhm. 